Hey fairy tale friends, I'm going to show you how to make a crown. So the first thing you're going to need of course is some paper. Um, I'm just using a regular piece of like just white blank printer paper, but you could use any paper you want. If you wanted to use like a colorful sheet of paper, you can. Just know that if you're going to color in marker or sometimes even in crayon, this is what blue looks like on yellow paper, so it will change a bit. If you have construction paper, that can be a little bit more handy because it's a little thicker, a little bit more sturdy, but really, really not necessary. So first you're going to choose your paper. You're also going to need scissors, pencil with an eraser, either crayons or markers. I have crayons here today. These are the things you really do need to have. If you want, you can bring a ruler but that's not necessary. I want you to pause the video and go and get these supplies. Okay, welcome back. So let's get started making our crown. We'll put all these things aside for now. You may want um, a parent's help with this or not. I think you can do this, I really do. So the first thing I want you to do is take your paper and put it the long way, the long way kind of call it like maybe the hot dog way it looks this way long way all right and we're going to fold this in half the long way it's really important that it's the long way so how do we fold well we line up the corners corner to corner we line it up like this and then we press it you try that And you can pause the video if you need to. And then what we're going to do is we are going to do that exact same thing again. We're going to fold it in half again. It's going to make really long, look really long like this. Corner to corner and press it down. Pause the video until you're at this point. Okay, so now we're going to unfold this. We're going to unfold this. And um, what you're going to do is, see I have mine like this. I'm just, I'm gonna flip it over because it's easier when it's bent downwards. And we want one half. So this is what the whole thing looks like. See how, we, we fold it into to quarters or fourths. One, two, three, four. We're not only gonna take half of the paper like this. And I'm gonna put the folded part down and the open part at the top. See, hello fairy tale friends. Okay. So to make a crown, this part right here, this part on the bottom, this stripe, we're not going to draw anything down here at all yet. All of the things that we're going to draw are going to be up here in this area. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle or if you want an oval in the middle, in the middle. How could I know what's the middle? Well, if you really, really want to know, you could take your ruler and measure the middle. Another thing that you could do is you could fold it in half again. And that would show you where's the middle, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. So what we're going to do now is you're going to draw a circle, but not near this line. We need to give it some space. Okay, so I'm going to draw my circle or oval up at the top. Like that. Okay, you got that part. Now I'm going to draw another set of circles. I'm going to draw two on this side and two on this side. Okay, so I want them to be like not right next to each other. I want to give them some space. So I'm going to make this circle and you can make it as tall as your other circle if you want a tall crown or if you, you can make it a little bit lower. So I'm going to make another circle right here. You can make it smaller if you want to. And I'm going to make another circle here. And you know what? If it's not perfectly spaced, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is just supposed to be fun. Okay, um, let's do two more circles. I'm going to draw a circle here. And draw a circle here. They could be smaller, whatever you want. Not too small though. Okay, so right now we have five floating circles. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to connect them. And here's how we're going to do this. 
each time we're going to connect them um, to each other or to the edge. So I'm going on this, oh, you can't really see when I do that. Let me move again. I'm going on this side of the circle and I'm going to make it a little bit kind of loopy looking or wavy looking as I go down. So watch this. I'm not taking it from the set. I'm not taking it from the center. I'm taking it from the side. So I'm going to kind of make it like a hill. And I'm putting it right down here. You give that a try. Take your time. You can always pause the video. Don't feel like you have to rush. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm almost, it's going to be almost like drawing a smiley face or like a big wave from this one to this one, like a swing almost. So I'm going to join this side with this side. If you want, you can even do little dots to show you where you're connecting. And you're going to make your wave go down and touch this line and come on back up. And if it goes lower, it's okay. Don't worry about it. So here I go, starting here, my smile or my wave touching down here and up there. It's not perfect, but it's just fine. Now I'm going to connect this one with this one. Remember, don't connect it in the middle, otherwise it's not going to be strong enough to hold up. So do it on this side. It's almost like you're making a net for a person. And we're going to do that same thing again. We're going to go loop right on up and I'm going to sort of touch the foldy line right there. So here I go. Loop. And look at they don't match and it doesn't matter. It's okay. We're not wor we're not worrying about being perfect. Let's make another neck here. This one. And on this one do the same thing. Loop again. Loop. Mm -hmm. Let's do another one. Over on this side. Over on this side. Loop. And you know what? If you don't like the way a line turned out, that's what this guy is for. That's what erasers are for. And then we're going to connect this part right here to the bottom, just like we did on the other side. And half a loop. Cool. Cool. Pause the video until you're ready for this part. Okay, so this is sort of like the crown. And now what we have to do is we're going to draw gems. Gems, because crowns are fancy. There's a lot of things that you could do here. Now, we are having our fairy tale party, but it's also the 100th day. So if you want to, you could write 100 right here. Or you could make it um, more like with jewels, like a fairy tale crown. You can draw whatever kind of jewels you like. You could draw a jewel that looks like this. You could pretend it has like little diamonds around it. You don't have to do this. Here's other kinds of jewels that you could do. You could do jewels that look like this. Diamonds. Diamonds just start with like an arrow facing up and then they go with like a V facing down. Sometimes it's nice to do things on both sides like so it looks the same on both sides, but it doesn't have to be. It's up to you. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do another like diamondy looking thing like this and then a V like that and then you can do whatever other jewels that you want. If you wanted more jewels or you're happy with that, that's fine. You know, you could do, you could draw a jewel that's this shape like a rectangle. Yeah, I think that looks really, really good. Okay, so what I want you to do now is I want you to pause the video. I'm gonna color mine. You can color yours, color it what 
whatever color you want. If you want it to look gold, you can use yellow. If you want it to look silver, it can be gray. It, it could be blue, it could be pink. You can do it whatever, it's your crown. So you get to choose, okay? So you're gonna pause the video. Okay, so welcome back. So I haven't colored yet, but you have, and you have colored yours already. Now it's time to cut. Okay, so here's the first thing you're gonna do. We're gonna open it like this, and you're gonna cut down this middle line like this. Have this part right here. Now, don't throw these away. We need these. What these are going to be is the other part to the crown, so it'll fit all around our neck. Because I don't know about you, but my neck is or my head is bigger than this. So, same thing. Cut right down the middle of these two. Gonna put these aside, don't lose them. We need them. And now it's time to cut out this part. So you're just going to cut around this. This might take a minute, and that's okay. Remember, as you cut, scissors always point away from you. Never cut sideways or towards yourself. Oh, sorry, or towards yourself, because that could hurt you. Alright. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start over here. I'm cutting up my loop, and you know what? These circles are kind of hard to cut around, aren't they? So sometimes it's nice just to cut a big wide thing around them and come back to them, and then can go in. You do what works best for you. Sometimes it's gonna cut off that extra part. And you can do this. The cutting, you can totally do. You don't need a parent to help you. You can cut, a big second grader. I'm just gonna snip that off. I'm gonna come back to those things. Look at, I didn't do it perfectly. I have a big grown-up. Well, not that big. I'm going to cut that part off again. I think that's easier. Snip. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to these guys. And you know what? If you accidentally cut something off, don't worry about it. Get some tape, get some glue, nothing to worry about. Do the best you can. If it's pointy, who cares? Sometimes it's easiest to start from the top.
Do you need more time to cut? Just pause the video. Okay, so I bet you yours looks really beautiful. Now, other things that you can do. I looked around my house if I had anything else to decorate it with. You could. Um, I found some stickers. Maybe you have stickers that you might want to put on. Um, I had other color paper. So you could cut out shapes, you know, and, and tape them on here. Also, you know what I have? Tin foil. That could be kind of fun. Like you could take off a piece of tin foil. You could cut out shapes out of tin foil. That's pretty shiny. Or if you made it out of something really hard, like like cardboard or something, you could wrap the whole crown in this. Maybe you have sparkly things to glue. I don't know. What, whatever. Um, mine is probably just going to be like this. Okay. Now we're almost done. We're almost done. Now you're going to get out these two. Remember these two? These two long legs here? Well, we're going to put them on now. Oh, I forgot a material. We need tape. Tape or glue. I'll do it both ways. Okay. So I have some tape right here. Taking a piece of tape. Um, you can do it here or even better so the tape won't show. Do it on the back. So try and line it up. I'm not doing it like this. I'm kind of having it overlapping a little bit. See? See how it overlaps? And I'm doing tape. And then if you don't have tape, that's okay. Maybe you have a glue stick. Glue sticks too. You could, glue, you could glue it on. How would you do that? Well, on the main part of your crown. <laughs> there we go. Put some glue. And then line it up. <laughs> and stick it on. There you go. That is a crown, and you can color these parts if you want, or you can leave plain if you want, and then you're going to wrap it around your head and have somebody help you tape it together. Okay, princes and princesses, I, I hope it worked out great, and remember you can always do another one or change things because we keep on working and things don't have to be perfect. See you later.